And I got this old Ford Meteor wagon here. Now the engine's froze up. So this video is gonna be about how to free up an engine. Sometimes when an engine's sitting for quite a long time, even if it's not seized or whatever, it'll actually freeze up, it'll dry up and it'll, the, the rings will like freeze in the cylinder so you can't turn it over. So I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the best way to get an engine free and without breaking the rings because you do not want to break any piston rings. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is take all the spark plugs out. All right, I already did that here. There's eight V8, took, took them all out and this will work for a V8, six cylinder, whatever engine, pretty much anything. And then what I do is I spray a little bit of, I sprayed a little bit of sea foam um, deep creep in. Now what this stuff does is it kind of, it's a little sticky and it, it's called penetrating oil for a reason is it penetrates the rust and it penetrates just the, between the metal surfaces. Now, so spray a little bit of that in each cylinder, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is take a funnel and pour like, I don't know, 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters of diesel into the cylinders, okay? This doesn't matter if it's a gas or a diesel, you, you can put diesel in. Because what that'll do, it'll sit on top of the piston rings, all right? As you wait, it'll saturate. Now, this is the thing, you don't wanna just pour the diesel in and then like 10 seconds later start wrenching on the engine and trying to break it loose. You wanna let it sit and soak in the diesel. A really good idea and tip for this that will help you along is take a breaker bar, put it on the crank there, because there'll be one big crank bolt. And you wanna get a snipe and you wanna hang something that weighs like, I don't know, 20 pounds, a little more off that. And what that'll do is it'll just keep tension on the crank and the whole engine so that as it soaks, it'll slowly start to break down and there'll be tension there and it'll hopefully break free. Now this one hasn't broken free yet. I've let it sit for a couple days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the car and then um, we're gonna take the inspection cover off of the transmission there and we're gonna put a vice grip on the flex plate and just start to move it back and forth and I will see you when I get under the car. All right, so we're under here and here's the inspection cover. Now, I didn't really know what I was looking at. Like I've never really worked on Fords before. Usually the inspection cover on the Chevys is right underneath the flex plate so it's actually easy to turn so we'll pop this one off and then we will assess the situation from there all right so as you can see here um ford does not think as clearly as chevy so there's not really any way to get on to that flex plate um honestly i don't even know how you even do this because this right under here should be the part that comes off so you can actually turn the whole assembly, turn the whole engine over in order to get the bolts in when you're putting transmissions in and everything. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do here. Okay, so obviously we can't really do much because the inspection cover is in a stupid position. We're gonna try something else here. Now, I know this is a bit of a long shot because you can't get as much tension on it, but if you've had diesel or something a lot of people use uh, Marvel Mystery Oil soaking. If you had that soaking in the cylinders for an extended amount of time, this might work. So we'll, we'll try it out here. And I'm just gonna grab the fan. Now the belt has to be tight, okay? The, the belt has to be tight on the whole assembly, like on the power steering pump, the alternator, everything. But I'm just gonna grab the fan here and I'm just gonna wiggle really slowly and see if I can get that crank to turn. And would you look at that? She's already broke free. There you go. So this engine was completely frozen solid. And um, we let her soak. I remember what I said, I had the alternator sitting on there with tension and now she's turning freely. When you're trying to free up an engine, it's not about just going in there and hacking and trying to get it to break free in one hour. It's about letting it soak. And that tension really helps because all it takes is like a 64th of an inch for that thing to, for the engine to move. And then she's good. And look, would you look at that? She's nice and free. I should have tried this before I took the flex plate uh, cover off, but there you go. So now that you've got it free, what you want to do before you 
start the engine because remember you're gonna hydro lock you got all that diesel sitting in there and if the engine's any good it should have some compression and those rings are still gonna be tight in the cylinder and if you were just to throw the plugs in right now and start it you're gonna hydro lock your engine and bend valves and you're gonna have some major issues so you're gonna to want to do a couple things well three things actually drain the oil first okay then what you're gonna do is put a good battery in keep the spark plugs out and you're just gonna turn the engine over just to try and get a bunch of that fluid out. And if you have some sort of pump, like I have this one right here with this skinny little tube, I'm gonna stick that in each cylinder and suck out as much fluid as I can and then turn it over a bunch to get all the crap and as much fluid and diesel that I can out of the cylinders. And then what I'm gonna do is put the spark plugs back in, put fresh oil in, now, if the engine is sitting for a long time, it'd be a good idea to throw some tranny conditioner in and maybe even some engine, like I know Lucas Oil makes an additive that you can put in when you're building an engine and putting a new camshaft in. It'd be a wise idea to put that in too, just because these parts haven't moved for a long time. So it might be a good thing to get some extra lube in there. Fill it up with oil, um, put all the spark plugs in, and then hopefully she starts. And that's pretty much it. But the main thing is, is do not rush this process. You want to let it soak. And if you can keep tension on the crankshaft while it's soaking, that'll help. Hopefully that helps you with what you are working on. Remember, don't rush. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.